Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing great. So we have here, as you can see in Aries, the sun is in Taurus at a very, right on the cusp, but it's in Taurus, three degrees. And then we have Mars moved into the fourth house, which has to do with home and comfort, safety, security, and money. And it has to do with emotions and feelings ruled by the moon. And Mars moved into the water sign of Cancer. So your planet Mars is in the house of safety. Now, Mars is about aggression, force, action, making things happen. Now, it could be impulsive, where you impulsively feel like buying something. Cancer with the Venus in Taurus could be impulse buys because Mars it's about action cancer it's about what do you want to make yourself feel safe and comfortable and venus and taurus which is what mars is connected to is about pleasure and beauty and nice things so you could want something for yourself um and okay so it's about pleasure and it's about really wanting to feel comfortable and happy and having nice things and pleasures in your life and Chiron here is connecting to the North Node and the North Node is when you're obsessed with something you really perceive everything about Gemini can be about tangible it can even be about food because it's about words that are spoken and written but that can also be I feel like it could be eating um, when you want pleasurable food um, because it makes you feel it, it brings a sense of comfort comfort food and I think it's fine I don't think there's anything wrong with that um, people really enjoy going out to dinner and that kind of thing so we have here Chiron connecting in with the north node in Gemini which could also be anything karmic any kind of karmic communication third house has to do with short trips so going on like a little weekend getaway healing the soul healing the identity is what this energy is about and it's squared off with the moon in virgo so the moon in virgo would want you to be practical but this other energy would want you to really go after something that's going to make you feel healed so that's going to be lots of different things for lots of different people um Venus and Taurus, pleasure, beauty. It could also be perfection, like wanting to be perfect, which is not realistic, especially with the North Node squared off with the Moon in Virgo. It's not practical. It's not realistic to be physically perfect. But, you know, this energy here could make people feel like to heal myself, Chiron in Aries, I karmically am obsessed with perfection, Mars connecting to Venus. Okay, so those are just some of the energies going on right now. It, it is not controlling your life because you control your own life, which is good. Um, I do have new bracelets. I have this light sandalwood with um, very kind of beachy um, light sandalwood with moonstone. So you may want to check that out on my website. It's brand new. And it does have this light aroma of sandalwood, but it's the lighter color with sterling silver on the back. So uh, that's what I've got going on. All right. Holy Spirits and Angels, what are the messages here for Aries? What do they need to see or acknowledge? What are the energies coming in? for Aries. For today. Messages from Spirit for Aries. Okay, a lot of a lot of thoughts going on in your mind you could be trying to make a decision you don't know what to do um, we have king of air in the crossing somebody may 
be firm with you and tell you this is what you need to do. Um, this is the law. This is the rule. We have your fool energy. It's like you're liberating yourself. You're saying, I don't care. I don't have a care in the world. You know, there's this underlying energy of wanting to be liberated from something that could be concerning you a lot. Hangman is here. This to me is like you've been thinking about it a lot. You've been giving it a lot of contemplation and a lot of thought. You may have been sort of feeling like you're stuck between like a rock and a hard place. Like just... I can't do anything, so I'm just going to sit here and think about it over and over. We have an eight of coin. You might be looking at the tan details of a situation very closely. That's like reading the fine print, looking over something carefully, looking at all the details. night of water so somebody comes in with an offer poetic very nice it has to do with emotions there it could be playing on your emotions too like the way they're trying to appeal to your emotions wow so you want to be seen there's something here about wanting to be seen as a, a hero or a winner or wanting to be recognized it's coming up as your energy six of wands recognition you want recognition for something maybe at work you want to be recognized wow so somebody is generous they grant you they reward you um the red coat is symbolic of the red coat is very symbolic of, it's supposed to be power. So somebody could be very generous towards you or in, in the flip side, you could be generous towards someone. You could be buying something, like I said, because he's wearing the red coat here. The red coat he is here paying or helping or donating. Okay, you're wanting Three of Pentacles. You're wanting people to have your back. You're wanting support from people. It's the energy of Mars when it's in Tor or Virgo. So it has to do with you're wanting support. You're wanting people to help you. Service. You're wanting people to uh, be there, work as a team. What is the outcome here? What is the outcome here? Wow, a ten of coin. So we have here money, wealth, and abundance, financial security. Working hard towards this. We d it did come out with death. So there's something here about a change, transformation. And we have a king of wands on the bottom. We have something about leadership, taking the lead. Seven of air on the bottom. Hmm. Seven of air below that king of wands. You could be taking action with someone you felt was being dishonest and maybe this person who was being dishonest really made you start to think and think and think about a situation. Maybe you kind of knew. Um, it seems to work out. Why do we have the death here? What is changing for Aries? Okay, walking away. Abandoning a situation. Just saying, I give up. I'm not doing this. What is the Ten of Coin about then? Wow, so we have a wish coming true, a wish fulfilled again. You will get your wish. You will get your wish, but you have to walk away. You have to abandon a situation. Okay. So what is this Eight, eight of Pentacles? Working hard. Okay. We have here the lovers. A blessing. Raphael coming down over two people. And we have a ten of cups. Happiness, joy, great success. Something working out for you. 
Wow, bottom of the deck is an Ace of Cups. There's a new potential for peace, love, or harmony. Joy. Wow, there's a King of Coin again. Somebody here unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. So, your environment has this Six of Coin. Somebody is sort of cutting you a deal. They're helping you. You are going to be liberated from this eight of air stress worry fear anxiety self-doubt wow look at this ten of cups happiness joy emotional fulfillment is coming in here something was worrying you a lot something where you felt stuck you felt like there's nothing i can do i can't move forward i can't move back what am i doing and your mind started to go to think knight of cups comes in what is this knight of cups okay the fool somebody here brings you a new beginning somebody brings you a fresh start they release you from these burdens six of wands is your energy you get a nine of cups and a ten of coin because of the death card and eight of cups you just say it's not going to work for me what is this Nine of Cups? What is this wish? The Ace of Coin, a new beginning, a gift, an opportunity. You have to, basically, you have to take this Ace of Coin. If somebody brings you this Six of Coin, you have to take it. What is this um, Six of Wands? What is this Six of Wands here? You're coming in like a hero. You're being seen and recognized. You're overcoming something difficult. You're overcoming a struggle. Yeah, eight of water. So you have to, I mean, it's almost like you have to just say, I'm not going to, I'm not going to um, stress about this anymore. I'm not going to worry and think overthink a situation seven of air there is someone here who was wearing a false mask i feel like that's in the past okay five of wands yeah there was like a struggle because of a lie okay so there's being there's a new opportunity being given to you where you would have to walk away from another situation. It's a blessing. What is, so we have the blessing with the eight of coin. What is eight of coin and lovers and ten of cups? The nine of wands. You've, you've been trying and trying and trying and not giving up on a situation. And the four of water. I feel like if you're not getting what you want, don't quit a job, but there is going to be another opportunity, and you'd have to say yes to that opportunity. Empress on the bottom, Venus in abundance, self-care. Okay, let's pull out an oracle. I'm going to pull one of mine from that my um, runes oracle deck. I got community, support, and having humanity, integration, a support, some kind of a support from people around you in some way. This is good. The full energy here is coming up because of an offer. So the offer is made. You, the underlying energy is full, which means to me, you want to break free. From something that's stressing you out, worrying you, making you feel un incomplete. And there is some kind of lie here. There's a false mask. What is the fool? Okay, we have the emperor. You're wanting to take back your power. You're wanting to get back control of the situation. Um, the wish comes true. Ten of coin with an ace of coin. What is the ten and the ace? 
Aries has to, in a weird way, give up, even though you never give up. Page of Earth, there will be this offer. Message for Aries for today. Spirit messages for Aries for today. Thinker. I feel like there's something you've been over and analyzing the heck out of. So I got here. Um, focus on the here and now. Uh, I got serendipity, which is fate. And then it came out with the fates. Mm, a fated event. Something happening for your highest good. Oh, new life. Okay. Something here about the fates and a new life. There is this fool energy where you'd be liberated from whatever is really stressing you out. King of air and the crossing could be any legal decision, any judge... Um, a person who has the authority to make communication, make a decision, send you a letter, make a phone call. Um, a person here is saying, this is it. Um, there's an ace of coin. The death in the eight of cups is like, I have to give up on this. Page of earth is here. Somebody will offer you something better. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. Ten of cups came out twice. It's more fulfilling. There's something here that's more fulfilling. Uh, your energy comes in like you're wanting to feel good. You're wanting to be recognized. You're wanting to also feel like you have some kind of control. So we have this fate and the new life. I really like this energy right here. Okay. All right, Aries, please check out my website, starseed1111.com, for any of my jewelry. Um, thank you very much for tuning in today, and take care.